Hi there. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to do a fun video. I was talking to my sister about it. And as you can see from the title, it's called I Love Smart Moments. And what this is, is going through some of, and I want it to be a tag. And it's going through a couple of what I believe are original ideas. I mean, it's hard to come across an original idea in um, making journals and crafts and everything, right? So, and I think it's pretty cool when we do. I think it's really fun when we come up with an original idea that we really like, that works well. And we're proud of it, right? And, you know, like we do so many videos sharing tips and stuff and we want to help each other, right? So I thought it would be great to start a hashtag. I love smart moments. And then, um, I'm closing this. It didn't get closed well. From this angle, I could see something sticking up. And then... If you want to make a video, this is not going to be a giveaway or anything. This is just going to be fun. And I'm going to call it a collab, I guess, or an open invitation. I don't know what you call it. But um, just um, we all want to see your bright ideas. So we're just going to call it Love Smart Moments. And just tag the video with that. Addie, no. My daughter's getting ready to leave, so Addie's going to bark about it. And show me your smart idea, smart moments, okay? I'd love to see them. And then if we use or try someone's smart moments, go ahead and add that tag. Um, tag that too, okay? You don't have to tag everybody all the time. But if you use somebody's smart moment, just tag them in the description box if you don't want to tag them in the title or something, right? Or share their video in the description box and where you got the idea. Now, I'm not saying the things I'm getting ready to share, I'm the only one that has ever done them. I'm saying in my crafting experience, these are things I figured out all by myself and I have yet to see anyone else do them, okay? And I always joke that I love smart moments, so that's what we're calling it, okay? And this is not, let's not play gotcha here. I mean, we can be respectful if we do know of somebody that does something. Of course, we want to give originators credit, okay? Or even if, like, you had a smart moment and then maybe later on found that somebody else did something like it. Well, that still counts because you had the smart moment in your crafting. We're just sharing are fun, helpful, smart moments. Okay, let's be, let's be cool about it, all right? So, I'm starting this tag. I love smart moments. One of them is, and you can't see it very well on this journal, is um, this, let me, let me put this behind it, how about that? And it is a toggle closure, like for jewelry. And um, I just use these little alligator clips. I got all this from Allie. I have a couple of different toggle closures. I have like the heart with the, you know, like with the post kind of toggle clasp or the slide kind of toggle clasp. And then this elastic, I mean, this cotton trim is elastic. And um, I have it both in, this is double, like here's the center with the top and the bottom. And then I also have it with just like the center and the top, just like half. And sorry about my nails. And then I, in here, I tucked them in here so I wouldn't forget. I won, the, no, I won this one in a giveaway early on. And it's elastic. And then this one I bought, it's cute. It's got birds and stuff on it. And then it's elastic too. And this, and this, and these closures and everything came from Allie. Okay? 
and the I just attached the little jaw clip thing with a jump ring okay and then you wrap it around and it makes a lovely closure I think what do you think and I've never seen anyone else do this I've shared it before and people are like I need the link for that you know closure but it's just toggle clasp you can get them on my Amazon you can get them on Timu Timu I'm gonna ask the lady how to pronounce that before I do my haul too and I think it's great I love 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 it okay another thing is okay toggle closure printing okay so let's see if I did in here one thing I like to do let me see if I did in here I don't maybe I didn't in this one okay in this one I did I I came up with this because I didn't like the background the white okay using scrapbook paper I didn't like the white plain background of scrapbook paper so I've started printing on scrapbook paper and it works just fine and I have a free printable let me find them I have a free printable on my community tab of these these lined pages with the hearts at the bottom and Mindy always my twin sister always uses them too so this image is um, available on my community community tab and my Facebook page and stuff just free okay and I've printed on lots of colors and scrapbook paper and um, in here this is wrapping paper and then I print it on the back of that too just fine this is tracing paper which I know everybody prints on tracing paper but I don't know if like scrapbook paper and wrapping paper and stuff if people have printed on that and this is a different image that I made and then this this one I have available on my community tab okay uh, another thing is this closure it is oh shoot well I, I'm gonna do binding jour a journal closure video but what happened here was I probably started in the back signature it looks like well I don't okay it's tied up here I just hid it in the knot but I take it out I make an eyelet I take it out the hole through the button back in through the eyelet and then down the other signature okay so we've got it going up one signature out through the button back in then down and the same thing on the bottom and then that it's kind of like a Hoban or a kind of like a traveler's notebook kind of closure you know they have the little thing on them but I just use I, my mom has a million buttons that we've inherited so I just use mom's buttons and I've done that a couple times and isn't that pretty I think it just turned out really pretty so I love that let's see one more thing uh, writing board I've not seen I got this that's why I said Hobonichi I got this idea from Hobonichi and this one I made it out of the, the back is a heavy-duty file folder and the front is just a piece of scrapbook paper he, uh, heavy-duty scrapbook paper but this one I didn't I I didn't have a pocket to put it in so then I just made it to hang over the page and then be like a bookmark too because let's say okay like all this lumpy stuff going on right so how are you supposed to write on some of these pages so then you can use a writing board now this is still going to be lumpy because of that but but you just put the writing board 
on the page and then you can um, like this I, that that other wasn't a good example because of paper clips and stuff but then you could just put it up the bottom but like to write on this piece of paper with all of this going on is a lumpy mess right so then well you could just tuck it in but um so this is just a writing board it gives you a flat surface same idea that I got I got the idea from Hobonichi but I've not seen anyone make them for journals and like I said this one was cute I just decided to make it to hang over the page so then it can be like a bookmark too cute and I've made them this was one of my early journals in a group um, this one's out of wallpaper and it's real heavy duty and this is a like that the pockets and all you know so then to write you just you know I've pretty much done this for most all of my journals like this is a whole lot going on so then to write on there you would just use the writing board okay I've pretty much done it with all of my journals there's a couple I haven't but like I said I've not seen anyone else do writing boards and I think all journals need them I think we should be doing them did I do this one yes this one I just did uh, left this was a, a junk journal challenge from a group and um this was just left over I think we could use file folder like this little trifold thing and then I just used a piece of leftover file folder because I was limited in my supplies for the group so this one I just used a piece of leftover file folder which actually works great you know it works well and this is a, a nicer weight file folder there's two grades of file folders in case you don't know that's what I use as my cards for lace too mm, let's see printing on back toggle closure button spine and writing board so far those are uh, that's all I can think of as my original ideas and um, please share yours use the hashtag make a video show us your smart moments do y'all like smart moments you think this will be fun and um, I think we can all learn from this you know I, and I think it'll be a lot of fun okay thanks for watching love you bye